So the next step assembly is a bit more compact. It calls for a couple of 3D printed parts. Oh, I need two of these step assemblies. So I need these two blocks and, and these two that go on top right there. And two small clamp plates that go on something like that. Additionally, I need some nuts and bolts, some M8 stuff right here, and smaller M3 bolts, which I got over here. Let's start with one main block. So the washer is in there. Now the small bearing follows. Then in goes the bolt, which comes out the other end. That all gets locked in place by a small M3 nut. Okay. That is turning. Small washer, mini bearing, bolt, small nut, tighten it down enough, all three spinning freely, quick test, this should line up. It does, but it's a bit tight. So it fits, it slides. Uh, that's a bit too tight for my liking. So Well, that's the third one. No hex reset here. Okay. Okay, one, two, three, four, goes on this orientation. So there are actually no threads in this upper part. 
I just like to screw it straight into the PLA part, which usually works just fine. I screw it, uh, I screw it in uh, only slightly each time to give the bolt and the PLA some time to cool off. Ah, I'm forgetting something. Which is Is first let's tighten this down. Okay, I'm almost finished, and the first one is fully assembled second one just has this final uh, clamping plate to be added right here with a couple of M3 by twenty five bolts one two Let's check for square, so the bolts seem to go in, in the correct angle. Okay. I'll tighten that down later, when it's time to uh, fix the syringe in place. Okay, that concludes the sub assembly oh. It's maybe uh useful to show how they uh how they will operate. A couple of degrees is enough to let them move under their own weight in whatever angle. And second one as well. So, um, also useful to notice, we've got a left and a right version that has to do with the location of the timing belt coming in. They'll be oriented like this, and the timing belt will run in between them. So next up is the sub-assembly of, uh, of the syringe holder. It houses the main syringe body with its needle. I'm going to need two of these for, for two syringes. Uh, these syringes have their nozzle uh, offset from the center. So that means I'm going to be making a left and a right version of this sub-assembly where I rotate the syringe 180 degrees. Let's find the parts I'm going to be needing. That's one, and that's two. That should do it for the... 3D printed parts like these, and uh, 
a couple of bolts. The two small M3 by 16 bolts. One, two. Okay, now turn it over. Okay, gonna need to do these. And then they get clamped by these blocks. Like so. So this should house the timing belt pulley and maybe a washer and this uh, gets locked into place with an M5 bolt like this and now it's free to spin. I'm practically finished. Still have to fix this last clamping block. Like so. A couple of bolts. These two are finished and I can go on to the next sub-assembly. So the next sub-assembly is actually one assembly level up. It combines the two are just assembled with a couple of extra parts. These to be exact and a couple of nuts and bolts. So okay. I actually did manage to make a stupid mistake. If you look at the drawing, this view in the lower left corner, that bar should be mounted exactly the opposite way. So I got that wrong in both sub assemblies, so I'm going to correct that now. Apparently, it's hard to follow your own directions, but I corrected it now. Now it should fit. And of course, it got out. Yeah, that's very, very tight. Okay, um, 
Now this pulley gets mounted. Flip it over. One pulley. No washer. Now for the big moment. Check if this check if this alignment of the plunger and this uh, opening is okay. So it fits in the bottom half. This fits over there. Seems to be okay. some play which is fine so now I should be able to plunge just by pushing on this block and pull it back this is the first one that's finished I'll do the other one and BRB